expression for the velocity of a particle executing simple harmonic motion. So it is important topic in uh, class 11 physics, intermediate first year physics and the polytechnic diploma physics. So consider P is a particle which is uh, moving along the circle of radius capital A. O is the center of the circle. X, X dash, Y, Y dash are the diameters. Both are perpendicularly diameters. So theta is the angular displacement. Angular displacement theta is a given by omega t into t. Omega into t where omega is angular velocity. So when the particle P is uh, rotating like this, the point of projection N can make a simple harmonic motion about the fixed point that is about the mean position O that is uh, up and down like this from O to Y, Y to O again O to Y dash, Y dash to O as the P rotates as the P rotates the point of projection capital N that is foot of the perpendicular capital N can make a simple harmonic motion about the mean position O that is in the form of O to Y, Y to O, O to Y dash, Y dash to O that is uh, like that. So simple harmonic motion. So now we know that <coughs> we know that the displacement here you can see students. So from here to here it is a linear displacement y and theta is the angular displacement omega is angular velocity but you know angular velocity equal to displace angular displacement by time then angular displacement equal to angular velocity omega is theta by t then theta is equals to omega into t so now we we are going to derive the formula for angular velocity for a particle executing simple harmonic motion so we know that the displacement of the particle executing shm so in the previous short video we explained this one derivation of y is equals to a sin omega t where a is where a is the radius of the circle you can see in the figure a is the radius but instead of capital a you may also take a radius small r so y is y is a sin omega t so we know that rate of change of displacement is called velocity velocity is uh, given by the formula v equal to dy by dt so now from equation one substitute this uh, expression in the place of y students so now we are writing v is equals to d by dt of y y means a sin omega t a is a constant so d by dt of sin omega t so here differentiation students so two times we want to do the difference in differentiation d by dt of sin omega t is cos omega t again d by dt of it is a from standard formula so in the first time differentiation d by dt of sin omega t is cos omega t and the second time differentiation we are going to do d by dt of omega t so this implies v is equals to capital a cos omega t d by dt of t omega is constant again d by <laughs> dt of omega t will be omega this implies v is equals to a omega cos omega t v equal to omega into a cos omega t it is a equation 2 so it is a rough work students here we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 but in the place of theta we are taking omega t 
sin square omega t plus cos square omega t cos square omega t equal to 1. In the place of theta, omega t is taken. This implies cos square omega t equal to changing the place of sin square omega t students 1 minus sin square omega t then cos omega t equal to square root of 1 minus sin square omega t so this is a rough work student so if you know this one you can derive the easily formula for velocity of the particle executing simple harmonic motion so now v equal to omega a cos omega t students so we can write square root of 1 minus sin square omega t that is this is substituted in the equation 2 so this implies v equal to omega of now we are changing the place of a into square root that is in the form of square but you know square root of a square is equals to a that is why it can be written as a square into 1 minus sin square omega t so this implies v equal to multiplying with uh, this is students that is a is written as inside the square root we as a a square a square into 1 a square minus a square sin square omega t that is equation number 3 so now <coughs> so we know that students we know that from angular displacement y equal to a sin omega t this implies squaring on both sides then y square is equals to a square sin square omega t so now from equation 3 v equal to omega of square root of a square sin square omega t means we can write y square students so a square minus y square so therefore the velocity of a particle when it is uh, executing when it is executing simple harmonic motion it is given by the formula it is given by the formula v equal to omega of square root of a square minus y square students so you can see this is again uh, from the top clearly